God really tell you to build it? How did you have enough Did the waters really cover it? So what specifically did God tell you to build? God saw how corrupt the earth had become. So he said, I'm going to put an end to all people. And he told me to make myself an ark of cypress wood. It was to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. I mean, it was his mission from God, so. Well, sometimes I felt forced. Probably because I'm the youngest brother, so my brothers naturally boss me around. See, I don't know what you're talking about, bossing you around. It was hard work, and it took a long time, but in the end, we got it done. You could fight the whole time. Well, there were people that called us crazy and mocked my father for building the ark. Speaking of the Ark, what was it like to live on the Ark, especially with your brothers and their wives? Honestly, awful. Crowded. He complained oh all the time. He okay, complained, but he wasn't were complaining. So it was annoying. so they weird. They were driving me crazy the you whole were time. Me insane. The whole time. And and what were your jobs on the Ark? They scooping poop. poop. Yep. He literally poop. scooped poop. Every twenty four seven. Yep. I okay. got to feed the animals. But you slacked off. I was the one doing the work. Yeah, I got to cook sometimes. Well, How did you have enough food to feed your family as well as all the animals? Well, God told Noah, you were to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and as food for them. So we did. husband was building the ark? Well, God guided him to do this, so I trusted him with what God said. And Noah, how did you feel when people mocked you for building the ark? Um, in my head, I said, well, if you don't believe me, then you'll believe me whenever the water comes. So what did God tell you to bring on the ark with you? He told me to bring two pairs of every kind of animal, male and female, seven pairs of every kind of clean animal. Mm -hmm. And was it easy for you to take care of all these animals on the ark? No. And what was it like having the help of your sons? It 
cooking, cleaning. So do you remember the first time you got told that there was going to be a flood? Yeah, for sure. It's, it's kind of hard to believe, you know, when you never had rain. You didn't even know what a flood was. Yeah. yeah, it was all a big shock to all of us. We were like, we didn't know what to do, except there was nothing we could do except have faith that God would see us through this. And how did you have that faith? Um, we saw how Noah trusted in God, and he was an upright man, so we knew that we could trust God through all of this. Yeah. Also, what was it like to have all that sin in the world? I mean, it's hard, you know, because you're tempted when everyone else is doing something, you know? It's hard to sit there and go, no, I have to do the right thing, even when you don't believe it. How did you know it was time to get off the earth? I sent out a, a raven, uh, and it flew back and forth until the land dried up. And it, when it came back, I waited seven days and then released a dove, and it could not rest the sole of its foot on a branch, so it brought back an olive branch. And so I waited yet another seven days and released the dove again, and it did not come back. Oh man, I'm an old man. Can we do that? Why can I leave your hat? Wait for me! Oh, <laughs> what was the first thing that you did when you got off the earth? I built an altar to the Lord and sacrificed some clean animals. And it was pleasing to the Lord. And God 
said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow, rainbow appears in the clouds, I remember my covenant between me and you and all the living creatures of every kind.